Well, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Wednesday in the Word. I am so glad that you're with me this morning to spend a few moments in God's Word. This morning, I want to ask you some important questions. Number one, do you consistently pray to God? Do you consistently pray to God? And then the second question is, when you pray, what dominates your prayers? What dominates your prayers? Uh, is it a wish list of what you think you need or what you really, really want in this life? Or is it filled with reminders of who God is and what God has already done to you and for you and what God promises to do to you and for you? These are some very important questions about our prayer life. Well, I want you to listen to what David says, what David prays in Psalm 103, verses 1 through 5. David says, Praise to the Lord, my soul. All my inmost being, praise his holy name. Praise the Lord, my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases who redeems your life from the pit and crowns you with love and compassion, who satisfies your desires with good things so that your youth is renewed like the eagles. Those are the first five verses of Psalm 103, and this is a prayer of David. And it's amazing because what we see is that David's prayer is filled with praise to God and praise for God. It's a reminder that God has forgiven him of all of his sins, that God has redeemed him from death and to life. It's a reminder of God's great love for him. It's a reminder of God's great compassion upon him. You see, the good things are not some random wishes of David. No, the good things, that's the renewed life that God had for David in Jesus Christ. Listen to what Paul David Tripp says in his New Morning Mercies com uh, commentary. Paul David Tripp says, so many of our ideas of what the good life is don't really have God in them at all. Psalm 103 says that God satisfies you with good things so that your life is renewed like the eagles. Those good things come to you in the person of Jesus Christ. Yes, Jesus Christ is the good life that you need, no matter what is on your wish list. I don't know about you, but God's word has really challenged me this morning. It's challenged me in my prayer life. So first of all, I have to answer that question. Uh, do I pray consistently to God? Do I speak to God and listen to God consistently? Uh, all the time, daily, am I consistent in my prayer life with God? And then the next question is, while I'm praying and if I'm consistently praying to God, what is it that dominates my prayers? Uh, do I just continue to go to God with a wish list, with a want list, uh, with a need list? Or am I consistently giving God praise for who he is and for what he's already done and for the promises that he makes to me in his word? Am I going to God and thanking him for the good things he's already done for me, the good things he's already given me, namely forgiveness of my sins and redemption? He has brought me from death to life, and he has done that through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ is the good life that I have. Jesus Christ, he is the one uh, who makes my life, uh, renews my life, gives me life each and every day, and it's full life, and it's eternal life. And I don't know about you, but that's what I want dominating my prayers. I, I just want to praise God, and I want to give God thanks for Jesus Christ, who is my life, who is the good thing for me today, tomorrow, and each and every day that God gives me. What an awesome challenge. What an awesome reminder that we find right here in the first five verses of Psalm 103. I also want to remind you today before we leave that there are only 25 days left 
until fall comes. That's right. Fall is coming in 25 days, which means there's 92 days until Thanksgiving. And if there's only 92 days until Thanksgiving, that means there's only 119 days until Christmas. I'm excited. I'm ready. I'm ready for fall. I'm ready for Thanksgiving. I'm ready for Christmas. Thank you for spending some time with me today in God's word. I hope you have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. And I do look forward to being with you next Wednesday, if it's the Lord's will.